having similar rules. Okay, the first one is divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. How do we know that a number is divisible by 2? A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit of the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Or in short, that is an even number. For example, is 568 divisible by 2? Okay. Yes, because the one digit, which is 8, is divisible by 2. Therefore, 568 is divisible by 2. Another example. Is 56,784 divisible by 2? Okay, what's your answer? The answer is yes, because it ends with 4, which is an even number. Another example. Is 895 divisible by 2? Alright, that's no, because 5 is not an even number, that is an odd number. Okay, the next one is divisibility rule for 5. How do we know that a number is divisible by 5? A number is divisible by 5 if the once digit of the number is 0 or 5. Okay, for example, is 660 divisible by 5? Alright, that's yes because the once digit here ending with 0. Okay, so 660 is divisible by 5. Another example. Is 45,787 is divisible by 5? Alright, that's no because it is not ending in 0 or 5. It ends with 7. Another example. Is 895 divisible by 5? A big yes because it ends with 5. Okay, that's the way how we're going to know whether a number is divisible by 5 or not. Alright, next is divisibility rule for 10. How do we know that a number is divisible by 10? A number is divisible by 10 if the one digit of the number is 0. Okay, for example, is 5,670 divisible by 10? Alright, it's yes because the one digit is Zero. Therefore, 5,670 is divisible by 10. Another example. Is 548 divisible by 10? Right. It's no because it is not ending with 0. It ends with 8. Another one. Is 230 divisible by 10? That's a big yes because it ends with 0. Okay, the next group of numbers are divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. How do we know that a number is divisible by 3? A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Okay, there's a word sum. What do you mean by sum? Okay, sum is the answer of addition. So, for example, is 561 divisible by 3? To get the answer is we're going to add all the digits. Okay, we're going to add all the digits. That is 5 plus 6, the answer is 11, plus 1, the answer is equal to 12. Then 12 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 4. So it means that 12 is divisible by 3. So therefore, 561 is divisible by 3 because the sum of all digits, which is 12, is divisible by 3. 12 is a multiple of 3. We can find that one in the skip counting 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. So, another example. Is 9,623 9, is divisible by 3? Okay, let's write a check. We are going to add all the digits. Okay, that is 9 plus 6, 15 plus 2, 17 plus 3 is equal to 20. Okay. Is 20 a multiple of 3? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Okay, 20 is not a multiple of 3. So, therefore, 
9,623 is not divisible by 3. Okay, another example. Is 265 divisible by 3? Yes or no? Alright, if your answer is no, then you are right. Okay, we're going to add all the digits. Okay, that is 2 plus 6, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. And 13 is not a multiple of 3. That is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 13 is not the third. So that's the way how we're going to know whether a number is divisible by 3 or not. Okay guys, next is divisibility rule for 6. How do we know that a number is divisible by 6? If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. So it means that, for example, is 864 divisible by 6? We're going to look at the ones digit. If the ones digit is divisible by 2, how do we know that a number is divisible by 2? If the number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So, 864 can be divided by 2 as the ones digit 4 is an even number. So, after that, after we know that this is divisible by 2, next is we're going to add all the digits to know whether that number is divisible by 3. Okay, we're going to add 8 plus 6, 14, plus 4 is equal to 18. So, 18, a multiple of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So, 18 is a multiple of 3. 18 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 6. Since 864 is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. Another example. Is 3,426 divisible by 6? Okay, first is we're going to look at the ones digit. Okay, it ends with 6. And... 6 is an even number, and if we're going to add all the digits, it gives an answer of 15, which is divisible by 3. Okay, that is 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So, this number is divisible by 6. Another example, is 561 divisible by 6? Okay, first is we're going to look at the ones digit. It ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So, it's not. So, that is not divisible by 6 because it's not, it ends with an odd number, not an even number. Okay, how do we know that a number is divisible by 9? A number is divisible by 9. If the sum of all the digits is divisible or multiple of 9. For example, is 45,675 divisible by 9? We're going to add all the digits. So, that is 4 plus 5. 9 plus 6, 15 plus 7 is 22. Plus 5, that is equal to 27. Is 27 a multiple of 9? 9, 18, 27. So, 27 is a multiple of 9. So, 27 divided by 9, that is equal to 3. Therefore, 4,675 is divisible by 9. Another one. Another example. Is 4,674 divisible by 9? Okay, let's check. We add all the digits. 4 plus 6, that is 10. Plus 7 is 17, plus 4 is equal to 20. Is 21 a multiple of 9? Okay, no. 21 is not divisible by 9, so 4,674 is not divisible by 9. Okay, 